What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be talking about this deck bed slide that I made. Um, I was looking on YouTube at some other DIYers, so this was not my idea, full disclosure. And I hope that the guy who made this design looks at this video um, because I appreciate it, man. You did a great job and I just copied your build, so um, more power to you, brother. Uh, I did not stain and seal this wood like he did in his video, so this is just the raw wood look, but uh, I might. I, I eventually, a, a, I'm, I'm getting the RSI smart cat to go over my truck bed here and you know I don't need this to be completely waterproof because that cap is um, so let's talk about the build this is three quarter inch pressure treated plywood on the base and then on top is another piece of three quarter inch pressure treated plywood plywood on the side is one by four and that runs all the way down um, this bed is a five foot eight inch bed so I, I cut the bottom here to 69 inches and then this right here to 69 and a half to give it a little bit of a, a ability to grab right here and that was courteous of the other guy who made this video he he provided that tip so that was not my idea um, what I did add were these handles right here and then you have this grab handle here and another grab handle here on either side uh, so on the top here is a one by two and that allows the uh, board from from popping up as you pull it out and as weight gets out um, but it's pretty dang strong. Um, it's heavy as heck. Uh, I, honestly, it's almost too heavy. I feel like it might affect my MPG a bit, maybe maybe a mile or so. I mean, yeah, it, it, it's heavy. <laughs> um, it's not going anywhere, that's for sure. But it's all pressure treated, pretty heavy duty. Let me go ahead and put the camera on the mount and show you how it works. So I can grab it several different ways. I can take both hands and grab it like this. I can grab this piece here. You grab it right here. And you pull it out. And so you can see how nice it is now to just be able to grab your luggage or you know tools or whatever that are right here off the bed. And how it is rolling are these bearings. These are one inch roller bearings that I got at Harbor Freight. Um, for $1.99 a piece and I have currently 24 of them I, I bought the whole store out um, I'm gonna get many more probably I'd love to get 12 or so more the more bearings you have the better weight distribution and the easier it is to roll I'd love to fill in all these gaps right here with more bearings um, but that's the inner components of it all I like this bed design or this bed slide design because it's only uh, four and a half inches tall Whereas manufactured metal ones can be much taller than that. But I'll, I'll go ahead and show you again how it goes in. So simply grab right here. And it slides all back in. Um, this is pretty heavy. I, I could probably do this with one hand. I mean, I'll, I'll try. Yeah, I mean, you really gotta use two hands to get this slide out. And honestly, if I had to do this project over again, I'd probably go with half inch plywood instead of three quarter inch plywood, just to save a little bit on weight. I know the bottom board could have definitely been half inch plywood. Um, I was just following that guy's build and I don't know, hindsight's 2020. Uh, but yeah, I would definitely do half inch plywood on the bottom. If you wanna carry more weight, you can go up to three quarter inch plywood on top, but you could probably get away with half inch plywood on the top as well. Um, now I'm going to slide it back in and stand on it and show you just how sturdy it is. Yeah, it doesn't give it all anywhere. Huh? Right there it gives a little bit, so I'll probably put a bearing right there once they come back in stock at Harbor Freight. But I'm, uh, to give you guys an idea, I'm 195 pounds, so... Yes, yeah, it's, it's holding the weight very well, very nicely. Uh, total material cost on this build was about 150 bucks. Sheets of plywood these days, as you guys know, has gone up tremendously. Uh, it's about $53 a sheet. 
so that's 106 dollars right there and then the one by four was i don't know 12 bucks and then the one by two i got two pieces that was i don't know ten dollars so 150 total i could do the stain and paint it and make it nicer but i don't know i'm just gonna probably probably let it be uh, another thing that i also did was i put three screws right here and i pre-drilled these so the wood wouldn't split i wanted three at the end here just for extra support because when this slide is all the way out there's gonna be a lot of pressure on that two by two or one by two pulling up so i wanted to put three screws in there but then i have so three here and then going down i have four more down and i have the same setup over here as well so i pre-drilled these so they wouldn't split but then down there i just i just drilled right through i think i have probably two and a half inch deck screws um so yeah outside of that fun project can't wait to see how functional it is um and we'll go from there thanks for watching let me know if you have any questions and i appreciate the guy who made this design go you man